topic of today's podcast is obviously, as you as you may have um, um, uh, figured, React Native Windows, which is React Native for essentially desktop development. And um, this may sound a bit exotic at the first glance because React Native is for iOS and Android mobile apps, um, and, and 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 JavaScript for desktop development. Somebody could say, why? Should I do it rather than going the traditional native way, which is C++ or C Sharp way? So um, why should we even think about React Native Windows in terms of desktop development? Uh, well, uh, if you look at it, if you look how the how the JavaScript developed during these years, you will see that it's not as exotic as uh, it appears to be, because uh, JavaScript will. When I started uh, to uh, to learn some JavaScript, it was years ago, and I was uh, writing some PHP uh, web application, and and I used JavaScript to to launch uh, to, to to launch the small script uh, through the HTML page that was about to uh, to filter out some some options from the list, and and that was uh, that the JavaScript was at these years uh, used to to develop some some small simple scripts. And uh, right now, it is used to, to develop not, not the simple scripts, but, but the whole web page, uh, whole websites, games, uh, mobiles. And, and right now, it's, it's, not, uh, it's not that surprising that it uh, expanded to, to the desktop applications. Uh, well, if you look at other languages, they also try to do the same. Uh, that there are some, some examples. Uh, Python is, 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 uh, is such an example. And, but but it's it's the JavaScript that 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 succeeded about it, uh, so so it's not that much surprising as it can be. Uh, well, like like any other languages, uh, JavaScript has its advantages, like like dynamic types, abstraction, syntax, uh, and, and many other. Of course, uh, some of these can also be considered as as a disadvantage. And it depends on how you look at yeah. it. Yeah, but, but but the main point is that uh, using JavaScript uh, or more ty TypeScript uh, allows you to focus more on the UI or on, on developing some components that, that that will be visible out there on your application uh, instead of you know architecting the codes layer by layer just to achieve enough abstraction to be able to connect it to your view safely. Uh, so uh, yeah, let me compare it to uh, to some experiences of mine because. Uh, on previously, when I was working on uh, on some plugins to the uh, to, to the tools that we were using in in the company, uh, in, in the previous company that I worked for, uh, I used the, the WPF framework, and uh, I was developing the, the, the this plugin. This uh, so to say, it, it was kind of like like another desktop application. Uh, I, I use MVVM pattern, and the thing is that be, before I started to even uh, developing the view, I, I I had to develop all the all the layers, uh, all the things that that they were necessary, the models, the, the view models, and finally I was able to develop the view. But uh, currently I, I am working with the React Native, uh, which which allows me to do like okay, I will write one component and I will just display it, I, I will just render it, and and it's simple. It, it it doesn't require to do any more like magic under the hood, to be honest. So so it's not that surprising that that JavaScript is used to to develop the the, the desktop application. Yeah, 